Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Tailscale on Casa OS. This makes it to where you can access your Casa OS from anywhere in the world. So, uh, once we're done, you'll be able to just uh, start up your client on your uh, iOS, Android, or Mac, or Windows, and then be able to connect to your Casa OS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at Home Labs, and we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started so this is ta a tail scale and I, I have the home page up so it's a secure remote access to shared resources so you just install the client on any of your devices and uh and just start up the vpn and you'll be able to connect to your tail scale network with wireguard so, um, it's good for home labs, zero config business, a VPN, remote access, site to site networking. It works on iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Raspberry Pi, Synology, Windows, Android, different things, secure networks for teams, enterprises, individuals, and we're going to get to getting this installed. So when you're on the website, you go up to admin console right here. And then you'll just log in with Google, Microsoft, GitHub, Apple, or Passkey. So once you sign in, you'll be on the having an, an admin console. So you'll be able to create your network. So I am now signed into my admin console and we can go over here to download Tailscale. And then I'm going to go over to Linux right here and then install with one, one command. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and get this installed. So now I'm in my Casa OS and I'm going to go up to terminal and logs. And then I'm going to sign into the terminal access right here. So Casa OS, Casa OS. And that's just the default password for Zoom board and the default username and 22 port right here. Once you're signed in, you will be presented with this. And now you can go in here and you can paste that command in that we just copied last. I'm going to uh, run it. And then it's going to ask for your username uh, your, or, or your password, I mean. And that'll be your cost OS password for the SSH. So if you're running this on Proxmox, uh, it's a little bit different. I have a tutorial for that. And if you're uh, if you're running this on Zoom board, just follow this one. Might take a little bit to get installed. Okay, now we are up. The installation is complete. So now we are going to have to log in to uh, the tail scale. So I'm going to do sudo tail scale up. And then there you go. You have a URL now that you just go to and you log in to your account and this machine should show up on your admin console. So I'm going to copy this link. Then I'm going to go over to my browser and get uh, logged in. So now once you uh, co copy that URL, you're going to go to your browser. You're going to go to it. And then you'll just log in with your Tailscale account. And then you'll be presented with connecting it. So now once you get to this screen, you get logged in. You're going to uh, see connect device and I'm going to press the connect button right here. Login successful. So now your machine should be on the telnet. So now once you go back to your cost OS and you can see the terminal like you had before, um, right underneath the login URL that you used, it'll say success. And once you get that, that lets you know that the tail scale network is now connected to your cost OS.
So once you go back to your Telescale admin console, you'll see a machine right here. It'll say COS OS or whatever your machine host name is. Uh, you'll look for connected right here. Once you see connected, you know it's successfully working. So now we need to uh, connect our main machine, our one that we're using, to connect to this other machine. So we're going to have to go to that, back to the download again. And then you're going to have to pick your operating system of what your, uh, your, 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 your current machine is that you're wanting to connect to the COS OS from. So mine's Mac OS, so I'm going to download it and get it installed. So now once you get your uh, your machine installed, Mac OS, iOS, Windows, Linux, or Android, you're going to go to the um, the client, and then you're going to go up to it, and you're going to say log in, and then you're going to log into your account, and then you will see in the machine section in the admin console, your current machine will, will, will be in there, and it'll be connected to, the, uh, to your telnet. So now, once you see in the Telescale admin console, you'll see a machine. Once you go to the login, you log in your account, and then once you log in, you'll be presented with the connection pa page. You'll say connect device. Then it'll say login successful, and then after a few, you will go back to the admin console, and you'll see it in your machines here. So, now I'm going to go up to the Telescale client again, and you'll see it's connected. So I'm going to uh, to go and change to my network, and then because I have multiple networks, and I'm going to change to a network that doesn't have access to the COS OS at all, and test and see if it's actually working. So now I'm back at my COS OS, and if I try to refresh this, it will not work because I'm on a different network and it doesn't have access to this uh, COS OS. So. Now I'm gonna go up to my telescope client, and then I'm gonna to go to network devices, my devices, and then COS OS. You can't uh, use Telnet and go to this actual IP. Uh, it has to be on the uh, Telscale IP. So I'm going to go to the Telscale IP now. And you can see it's working. So I'm gonna log in real quick. Okay, now I'm logged in. Okay, so the Telnet is working. You can see it's working. So I'm on a different IP address. And so whenever you want to go to a device, you just go in network devices, you go to my devices, and then you copy the IP address right here, and then you go to it. So that's how Telscale works, and that's how to get COS OS working on Telscale. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get Telscale working on COS OS. This makes it to where you can access your COS OS anywhere in the world. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link down in the description. So stay tuned for more.